Hi guys, welcome to WordPress Essentials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer a WordPress website from a local host running on your local machine to an actual hosting server like GoDaddy or HostGator. Let's begin with the prerequisites. These are the things you'll need to follow along with this video. One is a WordPress website ready and running on the local server like WAMP or MAMP. I'm using the WAMP server as I'm on Windows. But for the most part, the migration process is pretty much the same for Mac OS as well. Second, you'll need an active hosting account with cPanel installed on it. I'll be using my GoDaddy account in this demo. Third, a code editor with the find and replace functionality. I'm comfortable with using Notepad++, but you can go with any code editor as long as it allows you to find and replace some statements of the code. And finally, you'll need a file compressor installed on your machine. Let me show you the setup on my computer. This is the demo WordPress website that I just built for this tutorial. It's a basic WordPress install and I have just added a couple of posts as examples. If you notice the URL, it is currently running on the local host which is a WAMP server installed on my computer. Here I am logged into the cPanel of my GoDaddy account. This is the code editor that I use and as you can see it allows me to find and replace any part of the code. It's called Notepad++. I have provided the link to download it in the video description in case you guys want to use the same one. Now if I right click on this folder, I get options to archive or compress the files. This is because I have WinRAR installed on my computer. Now let's go through the procedure. The first step is the database setup. On the local host, we will export the current database into an SQL file. We will then modify this SQL file. On the server, we will create a new database, create a new user, add the user to the database and import the previously exported SQL file into the newly created database. The second step is the configuration of the WP config file. We will simply update the file as per the newly created database. And the third and the final step is uploading the WordPress files. To do that, we will compress the WordPress files to a zip folder upload the zip folder to the server, extract the files from the zip folder and finally delete the zip folder. Alright, so let's start migrating the website. The first step is to export the site database in phpMyAdmin of the local server. To do so, log into MyPHPAdmin, select the site database, click on the export tab Select custom as your export method and under the output section, give the file a desired name. Finally hit go and save the file to the local machine. The second step is to modify the file parts in the exported database. To do so, open the exported database SQL file with the code editor. Hit Ctrl F to open the Find dialog box and click on the Replace tab. In the input box, enter the URL of the website on the local machine. In the Replace With box, enter the URL or the domain name to which the website is currently being transferred to. Double check the entered URLs and click on the Replace All button. Once done, save and close the SQL file. We now need to set up a database on the server. Log into the cPanel of your hosting account. And the first sub step is to create a database. Go to MySQL databases. Give the database a name. Click on the create database button. Once done, click on the go back button. The next sub step is to create a user. 
Scroll down to the Add New Users section. Enter the desired username and password. Click on the Create User button. Once you see the user successfully created message, click on the Go Back button. The third sub-step is to add the user to the database. Scroll down to the Add User to Database section. Select the created user and the database from the drop-down list. Click on the Add button. On the Manage User Privileges screen, check the All Privileges box. Scroll down and click on the Make Changes button. Once you see the success message, click on the Go Back button. The final sub-step is to upload the SQL file to the created database on the hosting server. To do so, go to phpMyAdmin in the cPanel, select the created database, click on the Import tab, click on the Browse button and select the SQL database file previously saved on the local machine. Hit Go and wait for the import has been successfully finished message. Once you see this, we are done with the database setup. We now need to update our wp-config file to match with the database we created on the server. To do so, first go to the site folder in your local machine and locate the wp-config file. Right click on the file and open it with the code editor. The first step is to save the current information on the file as you may need it later to restore the website on the local host. Next, replace the database name with the name of the database that you created on the server. In the same way, replace the database username and the database password. You can now save and close this file. Now the last thing left to do is upload the WordPress files to the server. Let's begin with compressing the files. To do so, go back to the WordPress website folder on your local machine. Select all the files by hitting Ctrl plus A on your keyboard. Right click on one of the selected files and click on the Add to Archive option from the drop down list. Give the file a name, select zip as the archive format and click OK. This will create a single zip folder containing all the WordPress files. Now let's upload the zip folder to the server. Log into the main page of the cPanel and click on the file manager tab at the top. If you want the site to be transferred directly to your main domain, you can upload the files right here in the public directory. However, I have created a subdomain for this demo. So I'm going to get into the demo folder and upload the files there. Click on the upload button. Now click on the Browse button and select the previously created zip file from the site folder in the local machine. This should start the upload. Once the upload is completed, click on the blue Back To link to return to the file directory. Right click on the uploaded zip file and select the Extract option. Once you see that the files have been extracted, right click on the zip folder and select Delete to delete the zip folder. That's it, our website should be live on the server now. Let's check it out. Great, so it's working. As you can see, the URL is the domain name and not the local host. And the website is exactly the same as it was on the local host. However, if we check the website on the local host, it'll return an error. This is because we need to restore the wp-config file on the local host for this to work. To do so, go back to the site folder and right click on the wp-config file. Open it with the code editor and copy paste the database information that we had previously saved. Save and close the file. Now let's refresh the browser to see if it works. Yes, the site is back up. That's all folks, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment. 
Also, you can visit our blog for the step-by-step -step instructions. I'll be adding the link in the description below.